You guys, first of all, Happy New Year. This is the first time I've talked to you guys in 2019. I actually haven't talked to you guys in like three or four months. It's been really wide open and crazy at my house. So I guess what we'll do in this video is just kind of give you an update on where we've been and what, what's been going on in our world. Um, and then the next few days, we'll kind of tell you what's going to be going on in the next few months. Um, we'll start with uh, the biggest change we had was Andrew's show. Um, they did a station, the whole station did a, a complete format change. So it went from political talk to um, Christian, like a conservative Christian. And so um, all of the hosts changed jobs, did all that kind of stuff. He decided to do a podcast, um, which has actually been very cool. So it's a much bigger platform. Um, he's able to reach a lot more people because the radio show reached, you know, like, Alabama, some parts of Tennessee, Georgia, but now he's going to be able to reach a lot more people, and he's got such a great personality. I think people are really going to enjoy him uh, once they find him, so that's been a lot of fun. We took the shed that's behind my house, and we converted it to into a studio, and that's been a lot of work, and I did do a lot of videoing during that process because we are going to make a video um, either for this channel or for a different channel um, of that whole process because you guys know, too, I want to do a podcast. I actually don't want to do a podcast really it's more of a, a YouTube channel I'm talking about murder mysteries conspiracy theories all that kind of stuff and I wanted to start it this past week um, he was gonna sit down with me and teach me how to use the equipment but I've been sick as you can hear so I've actually been sick since before Christmas it, I just got a little bit better and then got sicker so I've kind of been going back and forth um, but I'll get that ball rolling soon. I'm excited to do it. I've done the research. I'm just ready for him to teach me how to use the equipment and to have a voice to do it with. So studio's ready to go. Everything else is ready. Just waiting on me. Um, as far as, oh, and he also got a full-time job. Um, he actually probably works more than a normal 40-hour a week just the way he works he he's working a lot more hours so he's going from like eight o'clock in the morning until like 11 or 12 at night between show prep doing the show doing his other job he just never stops so um that's been kind of difficult we haven't had a lot of time to spend together because of that but you know you got to sacrifice if you want to make something big happen. So, um, as far as I'm concerned, I have started doing Uber and Lyft. I've only done it one time so far. I did it on, um, New Year's Eve. <laughs> I almost say Christmas Eve. I did it on New Year's Eve. It was a lot of fun. I didn't have any drunk people. No one threw up in my car. Nothing like that. Um, I did make really good money. And that's the reason why I decided to do it. Is because in four or five hours, you can go make 100, 200 bucks. Um, and there's no commitment. Like, you don't have to do it. So, on nights when he's working um, and the girls aren't home, I, I can go do it and I don't have to, I can make money instead of just sitting there on the couch by myself at night, which is cool. And I started the Dave Ramsey, I'm kind of jumping around, I wanted to talk about that later, but I'll go ahead and tell you. Um, I started Dave Ramsey program over again, which I've been a big Dave Ramsey um, follower for about 10 or 12 years now. And I really believe in his principles and so that's another reason I did it, was so that I could catch up on my bills, um, pay off my debt, and you know, then work on paying off my car and my home and stuff like that. So um, that's another reason I'm doing Uber and Lyft in addition to my full-time job. I still clean my grandmother's on Saturdays, so I'm technically have three jobs, <laughs> but you know, whatever. And um, that's my update, uh, update on Lauren. You guys know, I don't know how much I've gone into it with you guys because I've made so many videos that I've not uploaded, um, but Lauren was diagnosed last year with um, musculoskeletal, no, amplified musculoskeletal pain disorder. Basically, her body thinks it's in pain when it's not in pain, and so it shuts down completely to avoid her feeling the pain, I guess you could say, um, and it causes her to be sick and a lot of things, like sometimes she can't even move a muscle in her body for hours. So we've, we've, it's gotten so bad that we've actually had to remove her from school. She is homeschooling now. Um, she does go on campus. It's not the same school she was going to, but she does go on campus twice a week, so she is getting a little socialization that way um, for her math class. And then the rest of her classes she's doing at home. We are hoping that she can go back to her school next year and graduate with the rest of her class. Um, but we don't know yet. I mean, we were halfway through band season and it was getting so bad that she couldn't even march for one song. Um, and you guys know band is her passion. That's been the toughest part of this whole process is pulling her out of her 
the one thing that she loves to do. So that's an update on Lauren. She did get a part-time job as well. Um, she only works about 10 hours a week. It's nothing too major, but she loves it. I'm proud of her. She works hard and she likes to work hard. Not at home though. I can't get her to work hard on chores and homework and stuff. But as far as her job's concerned, she loves it. So that's good. Um, we did move my niece in with us about six months ago. I don't know that I've talked to you guys about that or not. Um, so that's why I say the girls at the house. We do have two teenage girls, 16 and 17 in the house. So we have constant drama, constant laughter, constant tears. It's all going on all the time. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's just kept us busy. We're working all the time. Um, we don't have a lot of time to spend doing exciting, fun things that you would want to video and share with people. Um, we do obviously want to make that a big part of our life because, you know, spending time together is important. But right now we're trying to, we're trying to accomplish a few goals that are going to take some sacrifice for now. So um, as far as the new year, I'm really focusing on weight loss of course you guys know this was a weight loss channel to begin with i have not stopped that obviously because i have not lost the weight um i've been battling this for since i was 14 years old and i'm 42 um so basically this year i'm once again going to be focusing on weight loss i did talk to my doctor again about weight loss surgery but i then have since talked to him on monday about it and i found out on tuesday that my insurance doesn't cover it i have blue cross blue shield so i'm not sure why but um I'm going to try to appeal it, and if that doesn't work, I'm, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing now. You know, I started the gym back in November. Um, I was going twice a day for about a month, and then started the Y because my knee was hurting real bad, so I added the Y to my mix um, so that I could use the pool. So now instead of going to the Planet Fitness twice a day, I'm doing the Y swimming um, and then doing some strength training in there as well. So I'm being active and all that. I got to get my nutrition in check. Um, I talked to my doctor about doing shakes again. He said that would be a good idea. He wants me to stick around 1,500 calories, but for to me, to me that sounds like a lot, you know. Um, so I'm going to see. I'm going to try the shakes and then I go back to see him um, in February. So if the needle hasn't moved, I'll do things his way and do 1,500 calories. Um, but basically that's it. Oh, and the Dave Ramsey thing. I'm going to do Dave Ramsey again. I am going to do videos. Um, so if you guys want to join in on me, uh, join in with me on that. Go watch some of his stuff. Kind of get associated with him. And we'll do, we can even do tag videos if you guys want to. Um, oh, I did forget to tell you. By the way, this is the second time I've made this video I came out here on my lunch hour today and I made it and then when I went back to the office I watched the video and realized that the sun was blocking my face for half of the video so I've reshot it so that's why I sound a little unorganized right now because I'm just kind of out here throwing it to get together for the second time um but I am I did sign up for I believe her channel's Morgan Morgan losing something like that. I don't know. It's a girl named Morgan that I've been following for a while now I first saw her on obese to beast channel and she's just the cutest thing and she's she had weight loss surgery a long time ago and lost a bunch of weight and she's just had a fitness Instagram ever since that I've been following and a YouTube channel and her program's only six dollars a month and I really did it to sign up to have the accountability to have people to interact with because she does have an app as well as Facebook pages where you can get on and interact with people and that's been really nice now I was supposed to start on Monday with everyone else but I've been sick I literally was in the bed from Friday well, Friday night I woke up in the middle of the night sick and couldn't go back to sleep and I was on the couch from Saturday morning until Monday night like, I didn't even go to work on Monday. And I've only called into work one time in 12 years. And that was when my daughter was sick. So, I don't call into work. So, that tells you how bad it was. So, I have not been able to start with the other people, which has kind of been a bummer. You know, because it's a new program, you don't want to be kind of sitting there on the couch while everybody else is working. So, um, I'm excited to get that started. I haven't even been eating hardly because I've been sick. So, it's not even like I could follow her nutrition because... I haven't been doing anything but sleeping or laying there trying to sleep. Um, 
But that's been basically it. I wanted to go ahead and get a video out there, try to get back in the swing of things, get back into the routine of filming again. Um, and I want to see how you guys are doing. Let me know down below. If you guys have a channel now that you didn't have before, um, let me know that you guys are filming now so that I can, I can watch you and subscribe to you as well. But anyway, hope you guys had a good new year, nice Christmas. I still haven't even taken my Christmas decorations down. I'm very like superstitious and I've always believed that if you didn't take your Christmas tree down before New Year's, you would have a bad year. And so I've always made sure that my stuff is down on New Year's Eve at the very latest. And my stuff is still sitting there. And I did two trees this year <laughs> and they're still both sitting there. And maybe I'll film a little bit of it and, and show you guys the Christmas decorations. I have taken down the stuff off of the dining room table, but as far as the rest of the house, it all looks like it's December 25th. What can you say? When you're sick, you're sick. Anyway, hope you guys have a great night, and I will catch up with you in a couple of days. Bye!